Hello there and welcome back to Between Time. Now, last time we were in Nicholas Fromel's alchemy lab in search of the, well, a poison that can kill anything in one drop. Not the Philosopher's Stone. Again, not that one. Sorry, that's the last time. That's the last time I used that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was too good to pass up. So yeah, we were looking for the poison that can kill anything in one drop managed to get it and now we well we hopped back in the time machine and we are now in what in the well in the wild west after what i believe is a chest full of gold for his retirement for the thief's retirement our retirement this game's a little bit weirder than our well than i expected it to be i don't know why it just it seemed to be like was stealing a time machine. That's what it was sold to me as. But I'm not entirely sure why he was suddenly traveling around getting treasures. I don't know. I don't even know if we're going to steal the time machine anymore. I'm sure we're going to find out. I think this is the second to last level. I'm going to say, I think there's only five levels. I might be entirely wrong. I didn't really look it up fully. But from what I've seen, there seems to be five levels. Like screenshots that I've seen. It's weird. I don't know. So anyway. <laughs> Grab your favorite drink snacks. Curl up so uncomfortable. Come hang out with me as we jump straight back into between time. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. So yes, we are... In the Wild West, in a tavern, I have never been out of this room. We are really, looks like we're in the middle of nowhere and we have a... We have a compass, which point is pointing, actually doesn't look like it's got a... Doesn't actually look like it's got a pointer on it. We well, might be interacting with that one, I and mean, we can't do anything with candle now. Is that a black candle? Is that a black candle? You don't see them very often either. So yeah, we're in a tavern, and we have a whole bunch of puzzles, which is why it's an escape room, and someone went through that bar. That's a nasty trip. All right, can we get in here? No, we can't. We have a joker. We have a card puzzle code. Okay. In case you're wondering, I know some. I know you just like to see it occasionally. I have my notepad and pen ready to go. I've just seen anything. We have a bullet hole. Someone had a fun time with the bullets, and. I ain't writing all that down. I'm going to say that right now. I'm not, we're going to refer to that. That's probably going to end up being a key to a puzzle somewhere. I'm not going to write the whole thing down. I'm going to wait until I have what I need to translate and bring it back here. Uh, can we go up here? Can we get out? S. Does that mean W West? Does that mean this is East? If that's South, that is West. That must mean that is north and that is east but there's no e on that all right so we need to find a puzzle we need to find a puzzle uh well i can guarantee that's a puzzle one two three four cards
Right, so we have the face cards. We have... Sorry, Joker, clubs, hearts, diamonds, spades. Do I have to... I don't know this game. I don't know this game of cards. However, I think Joker... If we have... One to five... That's telling me that Joker... Is to the left. So that's... Num so Joker... Put a lovely J right under the one. Wait, so are these all the same? Are they all laid out the same? No, they're not. Club on the left. Diamond. So ace is four. The ace. Sorry, they're all aces, man. Still. Heart. Heart is four. And club is five. It feels really weird. Sorry, I'm just saying. It feels really weird. I've written down, I haven't done the symbol for heart and club. I've just written it down as H and C. And I don't know why that feels incredibly weird and disrespectful. And I don't know why. So, in theory, we could guess. The last one, can I think of that? So if Joker is one. Club is five and heart was four. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna put the last two in and then flip them if they didn't work, but apparently I guessed correctly the first time. So it's Joker Diamond. I'm gonna have to finish it. J D S G D S H C Joker Diamond Speed Heart Club. Now is this the code for the door up here? I'm assuming that it is, but what we're going to find in here. So Joker, Diamond, I passed it, Spade, Heart, Club. And we have a lovely little side room. And it's really weird to have a tavern in the middle of legit nowhere. There's no other buildings around. That's really weird. Uh, we've got anything in the chest. Uh, murderer. And that's a puzzle. Okay, and we can move horns around. Might have to come back to that. And let's just not get thingy can I, can I not open the chest? Alright. So we can't get or we can't do anything in here, I don't think. But well, we can move those, but I don't know what murderer and that means. I mean there's horns on the top there. Not really holding anything up. Right, so we've done that one. Obviously, we won't be able to leave. That makes total sense. I mean, I wouldn't want to go out into the desert anyway. So that one's done. Can't do anything with that. What are you? Oh, yeah, your maths puzzle with dice.
Okay. I don't know. I don't quite know what I'm looking at right now. So four one two six equals zero. Two three four one. Two three four one is two. And six one five two's four. It seems to be Dublin. With the exception of zero. I don't know how you get from zero to two. However, it would make more sense if the zero was one and then it would double to two and then you double the two to four and then you double the four to eight. And then we've got the ones on the right hand side which we don't know. Does that. Wait, is that the. Do we add the dice up? Four, five, six, seven. Actually, we'll go from six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen equals zero. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten equals two. I'm completely spitballing here. Six, seven, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve equals four. I don't know, I legit don't know how this is going to help me actually thinking about it. And five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen equals eight. And that's probably not going to help me at all because when I add up the other numbers, when I have these ones on the right hand side, it's not actually going to do me any good because I don't know unless it adds up to the same unless we get another 13 there we go on the bottom one four two the third one down on the right four two six one that's 13 six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen yeah so would that that one be zero Also, this is a information for another puzzle. So I'm assuming that we don't have what we need. Start. And it's an actual puzzle. I've come back to that one. And we have this one over here, and we have something missing. So something missing from the piano. Wanted to derive Hamel and a six digit chord, which we don't have. Or do we? That's a lot of money. Five, two, four, four, one, eight, six. That's too many numbers. We must have to find the wanted poster for Hamel. And hold on. This is the dice one. Okay. This is the dice. That can't hold on. That can't be. It's got to be a chain reaction because normally the puzzle itself has a a clue. Like it has a clue thing so you can actually get a clue to how to solve the thing. But the, this dice one, the information. I'm going to try the zero. I don't think it's going to be zero, two, four, eight. I didn't think it would be. But yeah, there's usually a like a puzzle, like a if you look at this one 
Of course, it's not going to show me now that I've done it. This. Where is it? There we go. This one. See that? We'll have a, a puzzle. We'll have a, like a clue. Which we may as well just unlock while we're here. And that might point us in the direction. Okay. I was wondering what I was looking at here. This is this image at the bottom here. This here. It's a bar. And then... So when you're looking at the bar... I'm just gonna... I don't know why I'm drawing the bar. <laughs> you draw... When you're drawing the bar, and then you've got your little doohickey there. And you've got your doohickey here. And then we've got two upward arrows. And two left arrows. So this is to do with the bar puzzle. So we've got the bar. Another one, McGill. That has a six... That has a six-digit one. We must have to find a... Listen for McGill... For McGill... For whoever... Who was it? Hamel. We've got Mulligan. We've got... The, it must be in another room somewhere. Hold on. Two left arrows, two up arrows. So we've got four chords. So this first one must be... It normally tells you the first clue. So up, up, left, left. There's only one on there, which is that. And I can't use any of these, can I? No. So how the heck do I work out the rest of these? No, hold on. It's in reverse, but that's that's wrong. That's wrong. Hold on, because it's two up and then two right. That's two right and then two up. Hold on. But I'm also wondering. Hold on, we may as well have a look. Three absence equals three. See, the clues, I, I have no problems getting the clues because the clues are as cryptic as the actual thing. It, it, literally, this is the only clue that you get for like a puzzle. You get one image, there's no like, have a clue and it teases and then you press again and it you know, tease you a little bit more and then you press a third time and it gives you the answer. None of that. These puzzles are actually hard. Right, so three absence equals three. Three equals three absence. But I only have one absence. How does that help me? How, like, like I'm saying, how does that help me? I've only got one absence, but 
that means Does that just tell me that absinthe equals three I can safely say I don't understand this puzzle. I don't get it. Sang du Diable, Morganite, Absinthe. Spice room. Hold on, can I get a bit further back? So there's a chess, the chess board. I think I might, hold on, hold on, I might get it. I might, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm staring this, like, slack-jawed real quick. So it said that three absinthe equals three. Hold on, that can't be. All right, I've just scoped my own plan. Three absinthe equals three, but I thought maybe it's because we've got three absinthe bottles. That's the third one. We've got one Morgan. Is it Morgan? One of those, which makes that one. But then, then we've got four Mar Captain Marleys, which is four. And then two red, which makes which would make that two. However. No, hold on. I'm I'm happy. Am I not just not counting these in the count? Is it just the ones that are on the shelf? Because that would make it that would make more sense. So we've got three absinthe bottles on the shelves, not counting the ones in the middle. We've got three absinthe bottles on the shelf. We'll have one of those. Is it Morgan? Not Morgan. Aye, that one's Morgan. Right. So if I go... Alright, so... That was a lot easier than I was making it out in my head. So that apparently is a... Are these chess moves? No, these aren't. However, I'm going to write these down. So, one... Right, up, up, up. I'm assuming I'm going to start at the start button and then go, then do the, do these moves. So right, right a square, up three squares, and then that'll tell me the, the number, the right place. I'll show you when I go over there. I don't know if I explained that correctly. So two is right, right, up, up. Up, up, three, right, one, three down. I don't know how that one's going to work. And then four is left, left, up, up. Up, up. Okay. That third one's throwing me off because that must mean that we're not starting at start each time. Anything down here? No, no. 
So we're not starting... Excuse me. Getting caught on the thing. Alright. So we can't start at... Start on each time. It's got to be a chain, I would imagine. Because if you start at start, we can't go down from the first... You know, I can move right and then I can't go down three times. That tells me that we can we have to it's got to be a chain so we've got to start at number one so we'll go right so that'll be b one two three b five then we'll go right to one two and up to one two which will be d three If this is correct, first time as well, I'll be very impressed. D3. And then number three is right one. And then down three. One, two, three. E6. And four is left, left. Up, up. So C4. Now it's time to put them in here. So that would be... Hold on, numbers thing. Five. Five B. It wants, of course that wants a number first. Three D. E six, six, six E. It's very weird for, it's very weird for them to go like, number first it's always been whenever I've seen one of these it's always been the letter first then the number and sorry C4 <laughs> nice but what does that get me that gets me a lever a fancy looking lever at, at that And that puts me okay. That's one, two, three, four, five. So we we'll have five notes, but we're also missing something else. I'm assuming we need to place something in here and we need something for this which then gets us into whatever this is unless the clue may tell us hashtag thank you very thank you very much thank you that is really 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 helpful so now I'm wondering what the heck we're doing now Can't get in there. Can we get in there? What was the dice? Oh, we need to do the dice one. So how do we do the dice one? Do we have a clue for this? We do not. So we need to find something to do with the dice. That's a canny dartboard. Although not exactly the easiest place to play there because you can't you need to be a little bit further away for dice for dice for darts can't get anything in there can we get up here definitely need something to do with that yep yeah, there we go that's east We're also up, we've got the hat rack as well, haven't we? That's a broken compass. Which I don't know why I'm looking at that. 
So yeah, we've got the this one here, murderer. Does this one have it? We're having a whole load of non. Oh, we do have a clue. Okay, clue time. Braille. Braille for murderer. Okay. Now is that, that can't be actual murderer. I can't be the work because I don't think we've got enough lines. Does that... mean that means what exactly i'm assuming that's braille however i don't think i'm typing out murderer because these are i've only got what where is it i've only got one two Right, we've only got four of these to work with. Mole hole. So we've got three which aren't the one that I want. So do you reckon Harris is the... Because the only one I've got... Not that one. Uh, is this thing here. Hamel. We may as well grab the clue. Okay. I L L. So that is four four. We've got to type his name in. Four four. So we need to find the other four things there. But what does where do you get four four from? See that's even that's three 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 large three small so that's not even four four. I could make sense if it was like four dots. Can't get in there. Am I missing a puzzle somewhere? Done that. We still need to work that out. We've done that. Got the next clue can't get out there can't get out here done this so it has to be hamel is the code for this but then how do i get that i'm stuck i'm stuck already See, some of these are, have red dots, and some of them have black dots. I get it. Oh, my dears. You and something just clicks. Something just clicks. All right. If you look at the first one, zero, four, one, two, six. There are no red dots on it. The second row, which is two, is there's only two red dots, which means it's two. 
four, the next one down, which is four, has four red dots. Eight has eight red dots. Because we've got the one on the five, the four of that's on the five. You can't see it actually, because my, you can't see my ugly, my ugly mugs anyway. But this first one right here, this is a five, like a dice five. Actually, if I can, can I show you that? Without zooming in. See how that one on the bottom left is five. Four red dots, two, two. Which means we can work out this right hand side now. So six. Four. Zero. Eight. Six four zero eight. Now, where does this code go to? It goes. Wait. It goes to the one upstairs. I forgot about this door. Uh, not this door. Not this door. Uh, there's a door with a uh, with the dice lock on it. This one. Finally made some progress. Right, so six four zero eight, and we have more puzzle pieces in here. And we have north, south, west, east, which doesn't. We've got another puzzle there with that. However, what are you? We're missing a key from the looks of it. Can I take that key? North, south, west, east. Is that... And then the cactus. X. Is that number of cactuses? We're breaking into a new page. N S W E how many cactuses? I'm assuming that's the thing. Oh we've got something in there. We might not need the, we might not need the clue for this one. So north we have three. Three cacti. So we need to go find south. Uh, I can't remember where the S was now. Or oh, West. We may as well have a look out the West since we found it. Two. I see two. So West is two. North is three. East, I think, was up somewhere. I think it was in one of the rooms. Upstairs. Oh, it's south. That's south. Might as well get south while we're in here. Four. I only see four. Three, four, two. So we just need to find east. Which I'm sure is... it was upstairs I saw it this one east there we go uh, one two three four five six six we have a moth in here get up get out of it one of those annoying little moths sorry bugger off one of those annoying little moths that really like just flit around your face. And so you know, always wanting attention. Right. So let's try this. I think we've got this right. I'm assuming it's number of cactuses. I'm assuming that's times. So north three. 
ball to six. There we go. Oh, nice. So that gives me this. A lovely wheel that looks like it's falling apart. Which then this goes into the piano. Okay. I think I might I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the clues. I'm not there's no shame in it. Oh, all right. So which way is up? That's what I'm wondering. You know, I would never have guessed this. Actually, hold on. How many blue things? So we've got four, three, three. So four... So this is Shall I write this down? How many spokes? One, two, three. Seven spokes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Sorry, I'm writing this down. Three, four, five, six, seven. So it'll be. There. With the three pointing downwards, so it'll be. One, two, three. That one will be one at the top. And then that one and that one. Like a triangle. And then this one is dupe. And then two next to each other in the top left hand corner. Maybe. We're going to try it. So this would be... That one. I didn't even realise I had that in the right place, that last one. Oh, good lord, a music puzzle. Uh, what does this mean? Hold on. The clue for this one was that. Does that mean we're looking only at doors? Shall we go with just that one? So it'll be... Those, just the ones with the hash mark. So would you count that as... That first one, would that be down? That looks like a down to me. Because it's down, up. We'll always try it. We'll just go... Down. Up. There is five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there's five. So down, up, down. Up, up. Down, up, down, up, up. I might, we might reverse them. If it just doesn't work, we might reverse them. Hold on. It's a bit deeper than that. It's how deep, how thing of the goal. 
So it'd be one, two, three, on the fourth line. We've got to count the lines. Second line. I'm going to go from line one to, like, top to bottom. So the second one will be up, but in the second slot. Then the last line, so that'll be five. Three. One. Four, two, five, three, one. I almost caught myself there. Right. Uh, so that'd be one, two, three, four. That'd be one, two, second line down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. There we go. I'm so glad, so glad that I got, I caught myself on the lines and it's the hashtags, not the thing. It goes up, down, up, down, up, up, up. Would have worked if it was just the, if I didn't have to, uh, if it just like toggled up and down. But I re realized or remembered when I got onto the thing that it was just, that was the lines. Right, so now we've unlocked another puzzle. We're actually making decent progress in this one. Hasn't been too many that have been like rock, rock solid. And we're missing something from there. Okay. What have we missed? Unless it's Harris. Hamel, sorry. It's that one. But are we missing a... We're missing a key for that. Missing some nothing in here, are we? No. We've done that one. We need a code for that one. We need to finish the cipher for this. We've got the L's. But we don't know why. We don't know why the L is for. Unless it's something stupid like corners. So what, one, two, three, four. Four corners. How would you count that one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to spitball this and go off how many angles there are. Like straight angle. I, I, I might even be incorrect. This is probably not in, not right at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There ain't no twelve in there. All right, so that's completely scuppers that one. Well, I know that one's four and that one's four because of the clue. But I don't know why it's four. Okay, so we've done that. Done uh, northeast, southwest. We're missing something from the darts. It tells me that we... This has to be the clue to something. See that, if that was like four, that if that was an L, that would make total sense because that's like four big dots. Hmm. 
but I don't know what I'm looking at here. This is real. So we've got two puzzles left. At the, well, at the minute we've got two puzzles left. We've got the Harris, sorry, Harris Hamel box. And we've got the one in the other room with the murderer. We've only got four. We've only got four panels. This has to be ma this has to match the panels. He's the most wanted. Right, let's just try. Unless there's only four. See Mulhall. <sighs> Do you know when you just have to start spark of realization there? Hold on. Hold the phone. How many letters are in Mulhall? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven in the number. And then we have a double L in Mulhall, and that ends with four four. Okay. I see you. I see you, sneaky. I see the sneak. Right, so it's Hamel. So A would be six. I'm just going to write Hamel. And it's 4-4. Four, four. And A would be 6. So we need an M, which is 5. And there's no H. Oh, there is a H. Nine. Which means we just need the I, which I'm assuming we're going to get on the other, the other poster. So that must be, I, that there must be to do with the horn puzzle, the horn rack puzzle. Do you have an eye, McGill? Yes, you have an eye in your name. Aha! Right. One. And again, you've got plus four, four at the end, McGill. So that confirms. So, nine, six, five, one, four, four, which should open this chest. And I, I realise my turning circle is really slow. I don't know why my sensitivity is way down. I do feel sometimes that it's whiplash. Right, so nine. Six. Five. One, four, four. Thank you very much. What goodies do we have in here? Morgan's confession. Okay. Although I have hung the posters of these guards for theft of the gold bars, I have to confess that we will not find them and that I have the gold hidden in the back room. Nice. Jack tricked them. Told them they were going to divide the loot among them, but I'm sure he betrayed them and killed them. They won't find their bodies. He's too smart. And he believes that no one is going to connect the robbery with him. He gave me a share of the treasure in exchange for shutting up and storing the ingots in the back room until he gets back. But I don't trust him. I'm writing this document as life insurance. If anyone finds it, then Jack murdered me too. Jack. Hold on. Aha. <laughs> I love it when I love it when you get a nice chain reaction. So Jack Which is going to help me out because that is a four letter name and we have four things on that most that braille kind of horn puzzle. Which means we can 
come to this and mark these down. So J, small dot, large dot, large dot, large dot, small dot, sorry, small dot, small dot. A is large and then the rest small. C, too large at the top and then the rest small. And K is large dot small dots in a T or sideways T and large large on the bottom there nice so we still have the darts puzzle I'm assuming the darts puzzle is going to be the last one maybe I don't know but that's, that's got to be where the gold bars are okay so we need to go uh, back upstairs because I went the entirely wrong way. It's this door over here. So murderer. So the question here, with they're all small. These have all got to be the small dots. So it'd be. Down, down, down. I'm gonna always reverse them. Down, and then the rest are small. Down, down, and the rest are small. There we go. And we have a dart. I was wondering if the, like, cause it doesn't say which ones are large and which ones are small. But I'm assuming they all started as small. It's a good assumption, but obviously we could, if it didn't work, we would have just flipped them over. Like, reversed them. Because then we would know that the small was the small. So what is this? Also, what is this, what is this a chord for? Are we doing are we doing an accord? Okay, so we can only place these on the outside. Okay. Right, so what am I looking at here? What are we looking at? So we have on the left, we've got the three different dot colours. Orange, uh, I, orange dots, red dots, so red stars, and then the triangle pattern thing. I don't even know what to call that. So, on the right hand side we've got the red dots or orange dots, green and orange. Now these green and orange match with the colours on the actual rings. So do we have to, sorry on the left as well, sorry I've been completely missing, we've got three numbers, 46, 19, 20. Which means we've got, we're going to go with the orange dots for now because that's only two. Do we have to make 20, put these in a place where you get 20 points and you've got two darts to put in, one in a green area and one in an orange area? 
Does that sound right to you? I'm going to try not to use a clue on this one. So, orange dot. Two dots, a green and an orange that add up to 20. So what greens have we got? 13, 17, 8. And then we've got... 15, 7. Isn't that 7? Yeah, 7. So green... Orange, 15, and green, 5, maybe. So if we do the stars next, so we're going to need to get 19 with two purples and a green. Two purples and a green. Can't be 16 plus 4, so 12. Hold on, does the. Uh, we've got one green. So that'll be 20 if we put it in there. With another purple. So that'd be 16. That's a red, so we can't use that one. 16. With a green. It can only be eight. So that can't be... That can't be that one. So I think the greens are going to be too high anyway. So the only low one we've got is five. And that's the obvious one, 15 and five. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How much is that one? Sixteen, four. Can't be seventeen. Sixteen. No, that's not gonna hold on, that can't. Eight. Where we've got a nine nines are red. Unless we can change the first unless we can change the thing in from a five. Hold on. Let's restart. Let's restart. I think this is going to be the easier one of the two. I'm wondering if we need the fi the green five. So if we go... Five... So we need four. So that'll be nine. And then we need a ten, which is blue. That's not going to work. That's not going to work either. Five, six, seven. Five, 
a 12. So two purples and a green. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we need a 46 from that one, from these. This one, 13. And seven makes 20. We're getting there. So we need a, a red, a blue, and an orange to make 46. Well, I think the red has to be 20. And then we need to get 26 from twenty thirty eight. We need a blue. That will be 48. Only other one it can be is 15. So that's 35. I'm just guessing here. <laughs> well, it's not going to be that one. So that'd be 35. Thirty five and then so be th twenty thirty nine. I mean, it's seven. So that would be... Okay, so that one's 46. So, okay, so that one's works out as 46 now. Which means we need another one to make 20. I think the rest of them are okay. So we need to make... That's the two purple. Again, we don't have a purple. So we need to make 20. What oranges have we got left? 15, 9, and 18. And the greens will have 13, 17, 8. We've got an 11. 11 on the red. So we could have done... Obviously, 11 and 8. Five, six, seven, eight. So I need six. Which one's six? Where's six? There is no six. Okay. I'm hoping we don't have to move the rest of these because the rest of these are all correct and it's just this little one that we need to do. The, the simpler one have been a, literally a 20. And we need a green and an orange. So nine... See, that'll be... 22 so be 15 
See, that just tells, that just screams correct to me. So can we find another one for this? So it'll be two, 12, so that's 14. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we need five. So if we move See so if we had a blue that would be ideal for this one. So it's two greens. Two purples and a green. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There we go. Nineteen. I can't believe I brute forced that. We have a key. Nice. So that leaves what puzzle exactly? Do we have any more puzzles to do? Oh yeah. Never mind. We're done. We'll pay for We're done. That was the last puzzle. Time to go. Um yes, gold box, thank you very much. And let's get the heck out of here. That was a fun one, that one. There was none that was too difficult. Once you found the chain and a, there's a couple of leaps, but nothing major. Let's get out of here. Hey, Ma, I've got it. We can go home. Let's go. While I was waiting. I have been doing some calculations, and I have deciphered the location of a treasure of value greater than everything you have obtained. Are you okay. interested? Hmm. Uh, uh, with this gold, I have for more than one life. But the truth is that I'm a greedy bastard. Understood. Fair point. Destination: ISO by Labs, Outer Space, Year uh, 542. Establishing time coordinates. We're in space. Time jump. <laughs> So this is, this is just a time machine. It's a time and space. This is, is this a TARDIS? You will know it when you see it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so apparently we are in space now, and I believe that is going to be next week. I was wrong about there being four episodes. I think the last episode is Da Vinci's Lab. I'm wondering. I didn't realize we're going into space. However. Let's go big me real quick. Hi. Yeah, I think we're going to obviously we're going to leave this here for this week. I really enjoyed those puzzles. They weren't too complicated. They did take a little bit of logic, which is what I like. I like a good logical thing. I'm surprised I actually managed to brute force, not brute force a lot of them. I got the logic, like logic kind of jumped out at us in the alchemy lab and in the Aztec ruins in Mexico is it Aztec ruins in the temple in Mexico I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna go into the whole Aztec thing I don't know I don't know enough about it to be to speak with any like gusto like the dice one in the temple in Mexico that one like the logic to it threw me off entirely that was a really hard one in the alchemy lab the the weight one, I think it was the weight one, was tr quite tricky. And there was another couple that I found really tricky. The the one, the bottom uh, shelf of the desk, or sort of the chest of drawers thing, with the four symbols on it, that took me forever to work out as well. But however, this last one, this one we've just done, there were there was logic involved, but it wasn't too like not like difficult logic it took a little bit of thinking but you could easily work it out based on the like the context clues that you got i really enjoyed it i like that one i've no idea what to expect in space although i do know the name of next week's episode i know that already right just looking at this right now i've already said the title comment down below if you're worked out what the title for the next week's episode is going to be. I'll be interested to know. 
it is a it will be a reference to it is a reference sorry it is a ne reference to another game i'll give you that clue if you guess it you very good <laughs> so enough rambling from me hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have let me know in the comment section below if you are new here feel free to come hang out come check out some other stuff that we'll have going on we would love to have you here there's quite well a decent amount of escape room games on the channel already some classic point and click adventures and some other kind of stuff as well i'm not even going to go into the whole list there's bound to be something on the channel that you'll find interesting if you're not new here welcome back thank you again for hanging out with me today it is much appreciated thank you all for the support i love you all for the bottom of my heart and you all know what's coming please like share come subscribe around the jazz and as always just see you on the flip side bye bye